life inspires me. Everything that I see traveling, I'm blessed to have a life that is about travel. You know, having to go to all of these different countries and, and play music. And the beautiful thing is while I'm there doing that, I learn something in each place that I go. My passion for design is the same as my passion for music. And one feeds the other. Music inspires my design, design inspires music. I think that the Kravitz design aesthetic is about, it's about comfort. When I first got into design, and I spent a lot of time around a lot of designers, I found that a lot of things looked really good on paper and photographs, but then when you actually had to live in them, they weren't so comfortable. The first thing that I thought about when we started designing the place was urban oasis. That was the phrase. One basic element that, that I'm excited about that I think is, is key to the atmosphere uh, before you even enter the building is the plaza. And I wanted the entry to not be the typical, you know, four or five palm trees that you see in a row and, and very stark. Uh, I wanted it to feel lush. And I love the idea that we have these three different levels. You have the street level where people can interact with the edge of the property. And then you have the middle where people can walk through. All of the walls are low enough for people to sit on. There'll be some chairs out there where people can sit, reflect, hang out, and then you have the area closest to the building. But what's nice about that is that normally that space is wasted. It's a place that you drive through, you get out of your car, you go in the building, and you never interact with the space in front of the building. So it's really nice to have that. I love the lobby. I think that it's really dynamic, very masculine, but has feminine sensibilities. I like the scale the size of the ceilings, all of the beautiful marble that we're putting up. I think it's gonna be one of the most beautiful lobbies in Miami. Obviously, I spend a lot of time uh, away from home. I spend a lot of time in hotels, other people's apartments, um, rented spaces, and I think that I have a very good understanding of how to live um, a sort of very well-rounded existence Elegance without soul and comfort doesn't really mean anything to me. I think that function comes first and form is right there after it. It's important that you can live in the space, that you don't have to uh, give up anything to have an aesthetic, to have a beautiful look. So it's all about living.